whether you're moving to a new garden or you've just got your very first garden. Here's one main tip and a few other tips to help you. Hello everyone and welcome. I'm going to talk today about, well basically I just want to give some advice for people who've just moved into a new place with a garden. Because I've seen so many people move into gardens, destroy them, top quality, high quality gardens, move in, cut everything down and within a year or so move out again. And I find it sad because they didn't even give the garden time. Plus, they they took down a whole load of plants that didn't really need to come down. So, my advice is this. There is only really one really good piece of advice, and that is, and most people don't get to the garden when they move in straight away anyway, is to just leave your garden for a year and see what comes up. Uh, obviously do the weeding, pull nettles out and get rid of docks and bindweed and goose grass and, you know, cleavers and, and things like that. But see what comes up because some things aren't visible all year round. You don't know what's there. They, they appear, flower, die back and you wouldn't know they were there. Well, if you go into the woods now, you wouldn't know there was wild garlic because it's all died back. Uh, you may find some remains, but you know, you won't find a carpet. So that's, that's my best advice. Let the garden do a whole cycle, then you can work out what's there, mark it, write it down, you know, write it down in a book where it is, do a, do a little map, and then, you know, and then you can write down what's, what's where, what's what and where it is. If I can just show you, like this is the border, the original border. This is what it looks like now, but here's what it looked like before anything shot up. Now you wouldn't guess that in the winter from necessarily, and uh, that is my basic uh, thing, rule one. Ha wait for a year, wait for one cycle, see what grows, see what's there, see what you like, see what you don't like, work out have a look if you want to change it around. Um, the, I mean, the tendency for uh, people who have a small garden is to leave it all open. Where in fact, if you create little areas within your garden, you make your garden appear bigger because you can walk into a small garden, go round behind, behind a bush, and suddenly you can't see your house and you've got a, a completely different area, you know, section it off like little rooms. It can be done, you, you can, there's all ways you can do it, you could use pots, you could use, you know, one area has a little pond or a little um, stone, a little seat under an arbor. You know, there's a lot of ways of doing it, you just need to be creative. Another thing that can be done is um, If, if something's falling apart, like a pergola or an arbor or something, if it's falling apart, you, you might have no choice but to just take it down and get rid of it. Remember that if it's got roses growing up it, what you can actually do is cut the rose down to eight inches and it will come back. So you could actually replace the pergola if you wanted to. Another really good piece of advice is check out what your neighbors have got growing. Have a look at what grows around and if only your neighbours are friendly or you see them out in their garden, go and have a chat with them because they may give you some ideas and they may even give you some plants. Uh, that's something to bear in mind. So yeah, it's just a quick, you know, it's just a short video just to say, let it do a cycle and then see what happens. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Ta-da!